Okay, hi. Uh, I'm gonna show you a little bit about around my um, Art Rage canvas. Um, this is Art Rage 4, and I'm just gonna show you a little bit about uh, some of the special modifications I've gotten, um, mods, or you know the extra custom tools that I got from the Art Rage uh, forum. You can go to the Art Rage forum. It's uh, forums.artrage.com, and it's under uh, Art Supplies, is where a lot of these are. So, my favorites are, um, I got a, a, a couple of uh, oil brushes sets that I've gotten. Uh, basic oil brushes, this is one of my favorites. And um, I'm going to pull it down just to show you a little bit. You got cleanup brush, flats, glazing around, round, zero, uh, you know, O2 round. Number two, thick impasto. Uh, zero six, flat. Number six, glazing around, round. Anyway, you can read it. Um, I use a lot of these, uh, specifically the rounds and the flats um, at different sizes. So I just got a, a number six round that I'm looking at. And, you know, I can tweak the settings. Now, I just pulled this off because I have two monitors. Um, I can put a lot of my tools on the second monitor. I don't keep my canvas this cluttered at all. Uh, and for those who are unfamiliar with ArtRage, it's it's a great program. I've been using Photoshop for 20, 20 something years, like just at 20 or just under 20 years, or since version four, I believe. And um, now, and just recently, uh, Photoshop has had the ability to use a mixer brush. Uh, they've added a mix mixer brush tool, and that's what I've been using to paint with for a long time. But I just came across Art Rage actually last year and haven't used it as much as I ought. That's because I'm so used to um, to using Photoshop and even Corel Painter. Um, Corel Painter, not so much. Um, I've used it and it's very deep and I'm, I'm, I'm sure it's excellent, but uh, I, I have so many programs in my head that I just don't feel like getting so deep into yet another thick program. So um, Art Rage gets me results fast and it's very, very intuitive and I love it. And it's, it's deep enough for my needs and intuitive enough and easy enough to, to produce things fast for me. However, but I, I did get some, um, uh, I love to mod things, so I've uh, got some extras here. So he, this, I've got it on uh, number six round, and uh, I just brought over my settings for the brush. Now you, I can change all of these settings as I want. Pressure, thinner. You know, you can think of thinner for oils. You can think of it as, as uh, OMS thinner or odorless mineral spirits or you know any other type of thinner that goes with oils I'm kinda new to oils myself um, so I don't know a lot of the, the, the types of thinners that go along with oils, linseeds and things like that um, I do a lot of acry acrylic painting before so water so here's my little water brush or uh, water brush here's my little glass of water that I can so if I, if I have a brush like this and let's see I'm gonna pick some other colors randomly and uh, kind of mix them. That's what this right here is what I love about our rage that I cannot do in Photoshop. You know, there 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 was some kind of modification I I found and uh, bought for Photoshop to do something like this, but it's it's nothing compared to something like this. And okay, so I I pretty much got a dirty brush. You know, I've uh, I'm mixing these colors like I want, just like a real palette. And it even kind of, you know, it won't last forever either. So I'll, I'll be brushing and brushing and brushing, you know, and the brush runs out of paint. That doesn't happen in Photoshop like that. At least not to my knowledge. Anyway, so I want to get rid of, um, I want to I kind of clean my brush while I just dip it in my water. Or thinner. Let's try that again. I just like that sound. <laughs> so there we go. Yeah, well, it's... Let's add a little bit of a... Oh, that's another thing. You could be brushing over here. That's nice to have it just move away. That's kind of cool. 
and it does that for for these two so you know i guess i could have my canvas cluttered and it just moves but i like to have my canvas clean uh let's let's get a little other color in here just to play around goof off a little bit oh and another thing i set is when i'm when i'm creating my colors here uh when i'm just playing around i want to make sure i've got uh go to tools color options i have this check marked it's usually defaulted to check mark uh, defaulted off and uh, i have it defaulted i have it um, check marked because i really do like real color blending let's see if we can see what the difference is okay i have it off so here i got this purple or was purple here clean it and uh see i had my it was loaded with green earlier all right now i'm gonna i'm gonna keep it dirty i'm just gonna keep go to this um cayenne look and let's see what let's see what it does here this is with color real color blending off All right, let's. Hey, my water's getting uh, dirtier. All right, let's go back and uh, I'm going to use the eyedropper tool to pick out my color again. Purple. Eyedropper tools right here. You've got a um, oil brush, watercolor brush, palette knife, airbrush, like a rapidograph pen. That's what that looks like. Love those. Stickers. Um, I'll get into stickers later. Uh, a glue pen. Don't use that. I, oh, I'm not saying don't use it. I. I don't use it yet. Um, a felt pen, yeah. A ro paint roller, yeah, to get just put down a swath of color. Pencil, absolutely. Crayon, yeah, deal with that. Dealt with that. Cloner, I haven't used cloner yet. Uh, I'm familiar with cloners. Um, since I don't want to just clone paint uh, or photograph, I, I haven't used that. Uh, eraser, of course. Um, paint tube. This is this if you had a paint tube, and you want to, <laughs> we want to put our, we just want to lay down some massive amount of gloopy color there for our um, palette. Let's do that. Let's look at the. Uh, oh, and this one is a glitter tube. I haven't used that one. All right, let's get that cayenne back and let's uh, use our. Let's get that out there. Okay. Now, um, take my oil brush, let's turn this real color blending on again. Let's see what we do here. I think there's just a subtle difference between color blending and turned on and off. I think this is, is to be giving a more realistic uh, blending of of actual real colors. So uh, you notice I'm using. Let's clean that a little bit. I'm getting into the white, and I'm gonna. I think my paint is dried over here. What I do when it comes over here, I see. It's, I think it's our. It's it's been already. It's not as mixing as well as I'd like, but uh, with with it turned on over here, and I'm cleaning my brush, and I've got I've got white loaded into it. It just seems to be more realistic to what I'm used to with a real paint. So I keep that turned on. Keep a uh, real color blending turned on. Huh, okay, so. Here's my settings for the rounds. I don't usually mess with those unless I want something specific. Um, as I'm just getting into it, I'm keeping the, the settings. Now these uh, were created by the user named Juz, J-U-Z, and I got this over at, I got these brushes, these wonderful brushes here, over at the Art Rage forum under Art Supplies. You just have to do a search. Very easy. Okay, let's take that off the screen. And uh, you can like roll that up a little bit. That's easy. This is my. Um, let's get this over since we're gonna talk about that. Uh, here's the colors that I'm working with. I'm doing an A10. Um, let's go ahead and clear the screen. Uh, you can Control A and then hit 
the backspace to control everything. Something you can't really do in a real painting. But it's really cool that you can do that in here. And, um, and here is my color palette for, uh, those are Windsor Newton colors. Okay. And, uh, I have it turned on where it shows samples with names, otherwise it'll just look like this. I made a mistake of that earlier in a video. And I'm like, okay, I know what I want, but what? Hover over, okay. So if you're familiar with the names of your paints, you could turn that on. It's really nice. Lemon yellow. Now these were taken, uh, I'm pretty sure that these were taken directly from the swatches from the original manufacturer of Windsor Newton. So these are the real, uh, like almost like the PMS colors for the, for the, for the uh, these paints. Now you got Windsor Newtons. There's also uh, let's see what else we got. Replace samples with collection, and uh, you can import samples. And uh, I downloaded as many as I could find. They were easy. You just put. It, they have the directions on there to tell you what to do with these. You got Amsterdam oils, Faber, Castells. I'm probably butchering that name. Gamblin. Uh, oil paint spectrum that's just I think a general oil paint Prismacolor now those are um, like color pencils uh, another water uh, Rembrandt watercolor and Windsor Newton Van Gogh's you know Van Gogh's and uh, Amsterdam's are so expensive when you're gonna deal with them in a real in the store for real um, but hey get art rage and you can have them here for free <laughs> so I like using Windsor Newtons that's what I got over here so my cadmium red and uh, lay down some. Now I can uh, zoom in on this right now, I'm at 100%. But uh, another neat thing, um, now I'm using control plus and minus to kind of <coughs> zoom in and zoom out of my canvas. I've got a basic canvas right now, it's not really high resolution. Uh, I probably could get a high resolution. Well, this is fine for what I need for right now. <coughs> so I'm at 200%, so it's going to look a little fuzzy. Yeah, you don't want to deal with this because that's you're dealing with pixels so uh, if you want a high really high resolution what I do is I make I work at 40 inches by 24 inches typically and then I put my canvas at um, about 180 or to 200 dpi and it's really high resolution so <clears throat> you get any higher than that like 300 and above and you don't have a fast machine a PC or a Mac um, it's gonna get a little slow so I, I just recommend you know, working in you know 11 by if you're if you're not going to produce stuff at 40 inches by 24, just deal with your typical frame sizes like 11 by 17 and and down to those range you should be fine. To um, Fine Art America is where I sell my art at stratoart.com, and uh, and their file size that they take uh, max file size you can do is 25 megabytes. So I've I work. Uh, Primarily at 40 inches by 30 inches or 40 inches by 20, 24 inches at 180 to 200 dpi. So that's my little little thing there. Okay, so I'm going to take uh, I'm going to take cadmium red, and I'm going to do uh, I don't know cadmium yellow pale. And uh, you know I can I could pick these from here, but you know I'm just going to now obviously I've got a dirty brush here, so. You know that's that's realistic because you know I mix these and it's on my brush. So if I want to clean that, I'm going to get back to the yellow. See, just like a real paint. This cannot be done in Photoshop. It can probably be done in Corel Painter, albeit a little differently. Um, I just like the fact that you can have a water or a thinner glass here. You know, a jar of thinner, or a jar of water, and you could be just so much more like the real painting that you do in real life. And the drawing is exceptional as well. Now that's uh, like a color pencil. And I could go to here to uh, let's see if I can do this right quickly without messing everybody up. Uh, group pencil uh, import no that's not what I want. Do, 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 do. Let's see where was it? That's what I get for trying to do something new. Uh, pencil. I have some extra presets I'm trying to get to. I don't want to import it. 
I might not have these installed, so that would be the reason. Um, I did download some other pencils, and apparently I don't have those installed at the moment, so I'll have to get those later. But um, we'll just get back to the brush. I'll do another lesson on drawing. Um, I've been doing Art Rage 3 for a while, so it's I think it might be a little different. Anyway, so uh, also if you if you kind of brush inward, you don't pick up as much. Well, you do when you're touching it, so you can kind of see. That's why I like these, the six round or the two round. I use he did a great, he did a great job on these. No idea what I'm making. <laughs> But as you can see, Art Rage is, is very intuitive. And yes, I'm using a tablet. I can't, I can't recommend that enough. I'm using the Wacom Bamboo Create tablet with this, and I love it. I, I've used Wacom tablets since Wacom 2, and I had a huge 9x12 Wacom 3. Wacom, Wacom. <coughs> and um, well, it kind of looks like a flower of some kind. Call it a fire flower, fire lily. How about that? And uh, and I I work professionally. I use a Wacom Intuos 4. And at home here, I'm using a Wacom 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 uh, Bamboo Create, which is great. Also, <coughs> so you can kind of see. Now I can increase the loading on that if I wanted to. That means how much paint I'm putting onto that brush. Now thinner. See, that's what the point of a thinner is. It, it just gets your paint really thinned out. If I don't have any thinner, it's gonna do this. See that? No thinner. Very opaque. More thinner. More transparent. Oh, and this is another tool I use a lot. That is palette knife. I love this. Um, same as in real life. And I use my arrow keys, left and right arrow keys, to uh, upsize. You can do it over here too. I don't know what this little error is here. It's some kind of little error. I'm not really worried about that. Anyway, arrow keys. <coughs> and I don't want any loading on my palette knife. So I'm just going to... Now see, because I put that thick paint down, it's still kind of there. You have to kind of work it. The palette knife and work it just like a real painting. See, I love that. That's what I love about our rage. <coughs> I'll show you that again. <coughs> Let's see, uh, do that cadmium red. Let's get a little deeper red, if there is. Yeah, that's what we want. Cadmium deep red, yeah, that's what we want. Let's do that loading. Okay, got the loading high. Nope, I'm sorry. Control Z is undo undo. Uh, that's what I did. Oh, and here's another feature: instant dry. Um, I like to keep that checked off for oils. Now, if I wanted to work working with acrylics, I could probably turn that on because acrylics do dry faster. They're not instant though, but um, auto clean. See, I haven't. I don't have auto clean on. Uh, I'll do that in a second. But um, oh, I want high loading, no thinner. They're a really thick application. It's like it has an apostle effect to it, a pasto effect. I'm probably butchering all this. All right, let's uh, use cat. Use a uh, palette knife and see. I'm just kind of smoothly using the palette knife, and it doesn't uh, smooth this out yet, unless I really just pressure, put pressure on this on the on my um, tablet and get it off there, just like in real life. Wonderful. 
okay and I'm just goofing off right now let's do this auto clean I'll show you what that does so auto clean is every time your brush comes off the every time your br you lift your brush off the canvas it, it's automatically cleaned you don't have to manually see notice you don't have to come down here and dip it so it's up to you whether how you want to do this auto clean glass goes away and every time you lift your pen or mouse if you're using a mouse I guess every time you um, I don't like using a mouse but so I'm gonna I'm gonna talk as if I'm using a pen. So every time you use the pen, every time you come off, um, it cleans it. It's great stuff. Now let's use a palette knife. Okay. And uh, here's something you can't do in painting, so you, you do get to cheat a little uh, using a, an eraser to erase paint. just like in Photoshop. It's fine. Alright, let's do that. Keep that auto clean off of there. And I'm going to do uh, back to our Academy of Yellow. And uh, this has pressure sensitive. So as I'm putting the strokes in here, it kind of thin tapers a little bit, which is what I want. I'm making up this flower as I go, this lily or whatever I want to call this. I'm just demonstrating our rage here. Okay, anywho, that's uh, that's an introduction into custom some custom tools I use and custom color palette. And uh, I'll make some more videos. Uh, I'll I'll start diving into my A10 and show you how I start doing that. Anywho, happy painting, guys, and uh, hope you enjoy this. Thanks.